Now we got to take our everybody. Let's let's make sure we go back. The reason you started exploring this is not just not just and not firstly because I'm gonna make money on this. The reason you started exploring this is because I look at my family and my community and I see there's a need here. There's a need, and a, even in my own personal life, I was missing what I grew up eating. So even before, I think the need of my uh, the family model was like it wasn't as crystallized as it is today, but as at that time it was like I'm losing family members, but it's like I miss eating what I grew up eating. Mm-hmm. Like I get, I mean, man, my mama made the best fried chicken family. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, mac and cheese. I mean, I'm missing all of this, and I'm like, I gotta experience this again. I gotta experience how to make this again. And I, then as I was doing that on a personal level. I was realizing like, yo, I am, I'm losing family members. I'm seeing people dying around me. And it's most of this stuff is causing because of how we actually eating. Yeah. And so it, it became, you know, so it became more of a personal passion that then became a more reality as I started seeing people around me that I loved, that I love that was dying because of what we were eating and how we were living. And so it just, as a, you know, it was a long journey that really made it even more clear. But at, when I first started, I was seeing it, but it was more of a personal, like I needed it for myself. Like, yeah. so I think a yeah. lot of times, a lot of times people's, you know, ministries come because of their own personal need. You know, yeah. you need something for you. So you kind of like, I gotta, I gotta figure this out for me. And it's yeah. like, oh, it's good. It's changing my life. And I'm yeah. the, I'm the living testimony of what I'm actually trying to bring to you. But then I started seeing like, yo, I'm losing people in my family. That's really close to me. And I'm starting to understand like, oh, wow. Like they died of diabetes. Oh, they died of, of heart disease. They mm-hmm. died of cancer. And I'm like, yo, all those are lifestyle diseases. All those things are happening because of the lifestyles, you know, largely our diet, largely our, our you know, just the, the lifestyles and the stress of life that we're going through, as, as especially as black and brown folk. Um, all of that became very clear for me. And it was like, oh, I got, now it's like, I got a solution. I know yeah. how to make chicken that look like chicken, but it yeah. ain't chicken. You know, yeah. it's like it's not it tastes like it too, and it, and it tastes like it, man. So that that became Listen. all of that started happening. You're, you're bringing up a really good point, and I want our listeners, our viewers, to catch this. A lot of times, you are the you God gives you a solution to a problem that you have faced that you're possibly facing, and you 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 know, and then sometimes you go, "Why isn't anyone doing something about this problem that I'm passionate about?" And God is saying, "I put something in your hands to do something about that problem," and that solution. That, that thing is your ministry. 